Ladies and gentlemen, it is your host here that is right. It is Team Rai Rai. Now, how is everyone doing on this Thursday's edition? I am doing wonderful. Now, everyone out there, I have social media accounts. But don't worry, I'll discuss that later on in this video. Thank you. Now, I want you guys and gals to sit back, relax, pull your feet up, grab some meat, or grab something to drink, or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts. My opinions on this subject, and of course, the link will be down below, or the article will be down below. It will be strictly an article. Let's get the show on the road. Okay, of course, I'm using my trusty laptop to focus on on this article. Okay, Davi Raw will be making its way to Netflix in January of 2025. I still cannot believe it that's going to happen. Wow. Is this a prank? However, as the current broadcast deal with USA Network is scheduled to end in, in October, many questions have been raised about the show airing location for the remaining of the year and as it announced in TKO Q1 2024 early report W um etc company has successful Secured a short term deal. I'm just gonna say that with NBC Universal, the deal, etc., etc. That is a good okay. I have a feeling they're gonna come up with some kind of deal. Sorry, I did not read all of it. Okay, I'm sorry. You guys could read the rest of it now. Let me get back to the Netflix Raw deal. Who's jumping on board? Or maybe you have a Netflix account. Now we all know that Netflix is going to go up when Raw makes their debut on that streaming platform. So it's going to be very, very weird. And plus, you still got to pay for the pay-per-views and exclusively on Peacock. I don't know if all that's going to move over to Netflix or maybe they're going to keep it separate. I have no idea. You know? Maybe when, once that contract expires from Peacock, because NBC owns all that, it will go over to um, Netflix, it should be all, all uh, one streaming service. I think so, you know. But these business people, they just want your damn money. They don't give a darn if it's reliable or not reliable, you know. So hopefully, W does not make a horrible decision of going on a streaming service instead of another cable channel, you know? I don't know. We'll see what's going to happen in the long run, you know? Now, people are wondering, once Raw makes their debut on Netflix, is it going to be super, super edgier? Cut down three hours and go back to two hours or what it should be? Or is it, is it going to be like we are dealing with it right now. 
I was just wondering, you know. So, were you guys surprised on this news that um, that we made a deal with Netflix and it's a, I think, a ten-year contract? That is a lot, you know. Is I know it's a business decision. Now, if you have Netflix, I guarantee you're not going to spend that kind of money. It's not worth it, is it? Because you could get highlights on the internet, you know. But they decided to go back to two hours and make it a little bit more edgier. Maybe a lot of fans will join Netflix. Who knows? But I don't know what's the store of Netflix with the way everybody could assume that it's going to be more entertainment, more adult friendly, more than kids. But we'll see. Probably. I am totally wrong. I know they still want to focus on the kids. And there's nothing wrong with that. Anyway, you guys and gals, to follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. All my social media accounts will be down below for sure. Now, if you want to be part of the Rabbi Show, that's fine and dandy. If not, don't worry about it. Bye-bye. Maybe you want to change your mind. Peace out, and I'll see you guys tonight sometime.